fucked up. Still being officer. We're, there are currently no witnesses. We're still looking into that. The victim's name is Angela. Her, 25 years old. Her body was found this morning by a neighbor going to work. At approximately 5 a.m. Apparently not many people pass by this neighborhood very often. So it's estimated that the victim was killed sometime during the Man, we just found another victim. found the victim's identification. Her name is Angelica, 30 years old and single. She was on vacation, st was staying at this hotel. An employee found her during her shift and this, the others are taking her to St. Marino. Angelica was killed during the same time frame as the other victims. This is the same note. Is there any other evidence? No ma'am, the note is the only one. His actions seem to be getting more, much more violent. The rate at which he's killing is getting faster and it doesn't look like he's slowing down at any time soon. Call Detective Lawrence. We're going to need as much help as we can get on this case. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Detective. I'm Sheriff Deanna. How are you doing? Thanks for coming all the way out here to help us with the case. We really appreciate it. No problem. So what you got so far? Second victim in five days. This killer seems to have a fascination with fire. Each victim has been burned, and there's been a note left at every murder. A note? Yeah, here. Something about these notes. What is it, detective? There's no mistake. It says that writing about a dyslexic person, being someone with dyslexia, I can recommend it instantly. Dyslexia? It's a learning disorder that affects people of all intellectual levels and backgrounds. It's caused by the different wiring in the dyslexic brain. Most people, when they read, the information is passed along the nerves to areas in the left hemisphere of the brain, which is then used to process and decode words that they read. However, in a dyslexic brain, that information is passed to the right hemisphere instead, where areas that support reading are not present. That's why they can't make sense of the information received, and it creates language-based problems like in reading, writing, spelling, and pronunciation. That's why here you see that the words in the note are all jumbled up. But I've seen your handwriting, and it doesn't look any different than others. That's because I was diagnosed early, and using a different teaching method called structured multi-century teaching, I was able to learn how to write normally. It's basically learning how to read and write using your senses, other than just seeing and hearing. You'd be touching and feeling words to recognize their shape, and actively forming words with your hands. 
Reading is still a struggle for me, but I try my best. Impressive. Would you mind reading the note then, since you seem to be the only one who could? Watch your burning angels flying over the midnight sky, preying on those who are born in shame, live in shame, and die in shame. This is interesting. What is? Burning is victims, leaving milk behind. The signature of this killer is similar to another serial killer in the past, but I can't remember his name right now. That's another problem with dyslexia. I can't always remember things I've heard. How do you know it's not the same guy? Can't be. If I recall correctly, that case was over 30 years ago. If it's not a number of he'd probably be dead by now. And even if he was alive, he wouldn't be able to do much to to old age. But I think we're up to something here. Let's keep working. We'll find our answer soon. What is it, ma'am? What's wrong? My daughter, she's missing. You've got to help me. Ma'am, please have a seat. What's your name? Tell us what happened. My name is Josephine Duvalt. Both my husband and I were supposed to pick up our daughter, Angelise, after school today, but she wasn't there when we arrived. She's not the type to go somewhere without telling us. So we got really worried after we called and she didn't pick up. But finally, after two hours of constant calling but no answer, I couldn't stand it anymore and had no choice but to come here. Can you tell us more about your daughter, Mrs. Devalsk? Like any other 17-year-old girls except for her dyslexia, because of this, she gets picked on a lot at school. Almost graduated from high school, yet she's still having trouble with reading. No one understands the pain she goes through. She's called stupid by some of her classmates at school almost every day. She used to be very easily frustrated and stressed out by her schoolwork, not being able to learn a foreign language as quickly as her peers. But since diagnosis a few years ago, She's been taking special lessons and seems to be doing much better. She's learned to do most of her writing on a computer mm -hmm. to avoid spelling mistakes. Realizing that she's not as stupid as some of her classmates have made her out to be, her self-esteem has increased as well. And she's just a really sweet and smart girl. Mrs. DeVos, did you say your daughter is dyslexic? Yes. Um, is there a problem? No. No, of course not. I'm just confirming the information. How did you suspect that your daughter has dyslexia? Angelise had difficulty reading words aloud in middle school. There were more spelling mistakes in her writing than the average student her age. But we could tell she was a smart girl. Her teachers, too. During tests, if notes were allowed, she would do great. But Whenever there was a test that relied solely on memory, she would just get such a low grade that it hurt just to look at. So we got her assessed and tested, and she was like, diagnosed with dyslexia. All right, thank you very much. We will take the picture of your daughter and the information you've provided us with to work on finding her as soon as possible. In the meantime, please wait outside, and we will update you with more information. Do you think this is related to the case we're working on? There are too many commonalities to deny the relation. Think about it. Watch Burning Angels, it's what mentioned in the note. They all have the name Angel on it, and this time is an exception. Someone with the name Angel in, the, in his past must have had a strong impact on him, and he never forgot about it. So Angelis would have been another one of his victims, but he spared her because he realized that she was dyslexic and would understand how he feels, so he kidnapped her? 